So we arrived at this restaurant because it was very near the museum we were at. Um, but because we're here early, such that we can go to the opera afterwards, it is entirely empty. So mum's agreeing. So it's pretty spooky. So it's exactly like this, right? It's literally just <laughs> us. <laughs> we thought it was closed. <coughs> Way to rest if we wanted the light switched on. <laughs> <laughs> I think a salad was perfect. That's not what I was expecting. Thoughts on food? It was really nice. Far exceeded expectations. Yeah, me too. Me too. I thought I thought my things were going to come cold and they were warm. And me and Matthew had a salad between us and it all got finished. Oh, the menu was funny as well because it had a slightly mean option of you could have thick... Thin? It was, it was thin or medium bread or like warm, hearty Georgian bread. <laughs> thick. Thick. And I was like, you guys are biased. <laughs> what do you think of the art gallery, Mum? Oh, it was good. Yeah. It was a lovely building, very nice. And it was quite interesting because having been to the walking tour this morning, it kind of put things in perspective of yeah. the history, I think. In what way? What do you mean? Well, it started off and it was all sort of like pastoral scenes. And then it got a bit Russian and it went very grey. And all, this, all the artists had been trained in... in uh, in um, Moscow. Then there was that bit where all the paintings had sad names and all the artists died when they were 20. Oh, that was awful, yeah. That was really awful. Quite a few of the artists all... They all died in the same year, didn't they? And then, so when we were in the museum, so you move on from the, like, it's the second, it's the First World War, Second World War, everything's going really badly, art stuff, to then, like, we're living under communism and everything's going really badly. So there were these, like, terrifying photographs of just, like, these, like, like the horrible village life, which in some sense was quite interesting, because that's what all of the pastoral scenes from a hundred years earlier that we saw these glamorous paintings must have, like, actually looked like. So it was interesting to see that. I think just, like, the photos were, like, very bleak and very dark. And then at the end, you had all of the like protest art stuff from like, the same period of time. So I like the photographs of them like tearing down the Lenin statue and like. I love a small museum in a Eastern European country. I thought strong plus because I think it's it's interesting to see what like art movements are going on, or like how international art movements are replicated in the random countries, like seeing you know, kind of Latvian Impressionists instead of the French Impressionists. But then also like, it's just like an interesting way to kind of, as mum said, like solidify the history of the morning. Just learned a fun fact about this cake on the way out. So it's called the <laughs> Napoleon cake. And there's like, they're everywhere at every bakery. And so I just kind of assumed it was just something to do with like, whatever. Napoleon's like, favourite. Yeah, like Napoleon ate it and loved it once. But it's actually the opposite. It was invented in 1912 to, to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Russian army beating Napoleon. And it's in a triangle, which is the shape, same shape as the French hat. <laughs> The seats on fix is quite weird.